Hello guys! Yesterday, we finished the beginner merchant course at the Voyager Academy. Today, we're gonna take a different turn. Yup. Now, at this point, I expect you to, uh, to have finished the merchant course by yourself. Now, you may have already started the mar maritime course. Of course you have. Do you know why you have? Because you, by finishing the first course, you did some of the courses for maritime and some of the courses for adventure. Just the basics, really. So, for the first UO maritime class, we're actually going to start a little bit ahead. Visible foes and invisible foes. It's going to be similar to sea battles. We will be fighting Barkos. So first things first, you have to go all the way to a tavern. All right, and then we're gonna go inside the tavern. Honey pancakes, anyone? Honey boo-boo. You're gonna sit. You actually don't have to sit. And you're gonna look very deeply into Instructor Allen's eyes, and you're gonna to talk to him about it. Become very skilled. <clears throat> Seafarer, you will talk to this is where the seafarer is, in Marseille. Basically, he's telling you that there are NPCs that you can see which are the ones that you interact with. And then there are NPCs that ambush you. How do you get ambushed? Turn off your caution or lookout ability. Simple as that. You'll get attacked as long as the enemies in that area are high enough level to your ship. And you don't have caution or whatever on. Even if you do have caution on, depending on how high level that area is, you might still get attacked. Now, not to worry. Just blow them up. If you can't blow them up, run away. Simple as that. Whatever happens, whatever happens, you probably should have rescue. Uh, and uh, whatever happens, don't press the shipwreck button. That's bullshit. Unless you don't have lifesavers and you don't have the rescue skill and uh, don't get meleeed. Don't. Just don't. If, you, if they are way out of your level, whatever you do, run away, don't get meleeed. If you get meleeed, you lose everything. It used to be that you lost equipment, you lost uh, a lot of things, and the durability of everything just goes way down. It's absolutely terrible. Yep. I mean, you can shipwreck. Of course you can. But I recommend that you don't. I also recommend that you level up in safe areas, like Europe. It's pretty safe. Now, the enemies that you can't see, they're of course the ones that, uh, you know, just randomly attack you, and there's also the ones that appear in quests. Quests! You want them to attack you, specifically. So you turn off your caution, you go to the area that they're supposed to attack you, and then you get attacked. For the purpose of getting attacked. What is dungeon stuff? I want to see. Nah. What is this dungeon stuff? Hmm. Hmm. Let's try it on. Oh, don't look dashing. Dashing, dashing, dashing. 
Rotate, 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 rotate. Nah. No need. No need. Alright. To the port. Now your job right here in this quest is very simple. Get attacked. What did I press the... Oh. Oh, hi, Miyamoto! Hi, me Mia. I can't spell. He left. I'm sad. What is this? Completely forgot about this. What is this? Why is this happening? Hmm. The correct answer is I'm, of course, correct. Well, no effort needed. Fame is useless. Wealth is king. I have no idea how that relates, but okay. Now on to the actual game. This should be enough. What ships do I have? Should I, for the sake of it, go into a different ship? What was the improvement? Nah, my ship's better. One second. So, once again, to pull up your quest, you press Q. You must... Subdue the beginner maritime major practice ship. In other words, basically a barca. Literally, sail forward. You can't miss it. Can you? I see it. Can you? See that? It's right in front of you. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to look it straight in the eye. You're gonna look at so close. He's gonna fire at you. And you're gonna be like. Ha! No. You're gonna follow it. You're gonna follow it. And you're gonna be like.
Yeah, take that. And that is how you do a kill quest. You talk to people, you find out where the target is. If you go on the guides for each quest, they will tell you where the coordinates are. Now, the coordinates, uh, once you get your survey skill, you'll find by using a tool like this, you'll tap it, you'll see, huh, it says a certain number or whatnot, and you get your coordinates. What is going on? Another one? <sighs> All right, you'll get your coordinates and goddamn story. You get the coordinates, you go there, you kill the guys, and that's it. Goddamn story, why you messing with me? Oh yeah, this guy died. Oops. That was the guy that you just killed, by the way. You you just murdered him. Straight up. Why? Why you do this? Uh, you guessed it. I did it. <laughs> Ah, who's this guy? You know who killed him. I do. It's this young gentleman. He's gonna frame everything. He's just... My name is not important. Hell no, my name is important. Julian, my name is Alan. All in vain, all vain. Alright, they gone. Let's go back to school. I don't why is he on a high perch? I don't know. I hate you. Hey! A level up! What? The final exam already? I... I that was a short one. Well, I'll see you next time then. Mm-hmm. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Comment. Like. Interact. Etc. It says it right there. Come on. You know how to do it. Thank you so much.